In November of 2009, I received a phone call from a Reformed Church youth pastor from a small city in Eastern Hungary. He said that he had heard about me from some videos on YouTube, but he knew about the YTL program as well and he liked it. He asked for some help and I said, how could we help? He said that with their youth group, they had created what they called a traveling exhibit called the Exhibit of Contrasts. And all the youth in their youth group went through this. It was so successful that the high schools in this small city asked if their students could also go through the exhibit. And so they did. Then they were approached by the Hungarian National Police Force. The police force said, we'd like to enter into partnership with you, the Reformed Church, and bring this exhibit to Debrecen, the second largest city in the country, home to 40,000 students. Because we know if they go through this exhibit, it makes our job as police officers much, much easier. I... The exhibit is essentially a series of rooms designed in such a way that the moment the student steps in, they become the subject of the exhibit. For example, they walk into the exhibit and the first room talks about the family. Is it a strong family? And what is it like if the family isn't strong? These are very important issues in Hungary. They go into another room. It's called suicide. And the student is surrounded by graphic, hyper-realistic, surreal pictures of suicide and text on the wall showing what a problem this is in Hungary. They go into the next room. It's called abortion. They see on a flat screen TV a three to four minute very graphic presentation that highlights the value of life and shows the horror of what happens when life is cut short by abortion. They keep going. The next room is called drug addiction. They watch a short film of a young 16 year old boy whose life was destroyed because of drugs. The next room, alcoholism, family violence, nationalism. And after the students have gone through this 40 minute harrowing experience, they finally arrive at the last room and it's called the solution salvation. And it's the gospel. They walk in, they're surrounded by Bible verses all around them showing how much God loves them. They watch a short film that in an allegorical way shows a father sacrificing his son for the world. And then when they come out at the far end of this exhibit, there are members of the Reformed Church there to comfort the students because many of them are crying at this point. How could we possibly help? And he said, well, since we're going to this large city, we almost feel we need an in-between step. Some of the administration of the school is a little hesitant to just automatically allow all their students to go through the exhibit. But we would like you to come with a high school assembly talk. We would like you to do this talk for every single student in the city because we know when the administration sees the students responding to your talk, they will say, oh, if this is what the exhibit is like, I would love my students to go through that. I remember going to the opening press event in early September and there, the mayor of the city, the head of the police force, pounding on the gavel, standing before the television stations of Hungary saying this exhibit and this partnership between the police force, the Reformed Church and Campus Crusade for Christ is so important. And then a Hungarian national politician of the newly elected Prime Minister's party stood before the cameras and he said, may this exhibit travel to every corner of this country. May it change the lives of the students and give them a better future. And then he opened the Bible and he read from scripture. Now, none of this would matter if it didn't actually result in changed lives of students. And I don't have time to read the over 5,000 text messages, emails, and Facebook messages that I've received, but I can just quote one. This is a 16-year-old student. This is what she wrote. Before you came to my high school, I was sure that I was worthless. But now that I've seen this talk and I've gone through this exhibit, I am amazed there is a God with enough love even for me.